channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing a three in one get ready with me video. I had a lot of fun creating this look. I didn't know what I was going for. I just knew I wanted to look cute today. So I just kind of winged it and came up with whatever I could come up with. I knew I was wearing this velvet shirt today because I picked out my outfit a few days ago and I knew I was gonna wear my matching turban. So I was like, we gonna do something to make these colors pop. Even though it's fall, I did this like blue underneath. I was like, oh, this looks like spring, but I don't care. I feel cute. It's October. It is what it is. But yeah, I showed you guys how I did my turban, but not in detail. Stay tuned. I'm gonna have a detailed turban video coming up soon on how I do all the turbans that I like to wear personally. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you wanna see how I got this look, just stay tuned. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off this video by using my Teamy mask again. This is their beauty mask, their restorative clay mask. I really, really, really like this mask. This is actually in my whole collection right now. This is my favorite mask. I use it the most. My favorite time to use it is in the morning. I haven't used it at nighttime at all yet, but I really don't feel the need to because this mask instantly tightens my skin. And it also makes my skin look very, very glowy and healthy. So I like to put it on in the morning. That way, whether I'm wearing makeup or not wearing makeup, it still gives me a very nice glow, a very nice tight and feeling like to where my skin just looks really good and like youthful and healthy. So I just feel like for me it's best used in the morning because I'm getting my day started and I just get to leave and I look good with or without makeup. Okay. This is also one of my reasons why it's my favorite. I love the way it looks. But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes and today I got somewhere to be. So today I'm gonna hop in the shower and wash this off. Last time I used it in my last video, I used a washcloth. I do whatever works for me that day, to be 100% honest. Sometimes I just rinse it off in the sink. Sometimes I do it in the shower. Sometimes I do it with a rag. I'm getting in the shower today, so when I come back, it's gonna be gone. But definitely go check out this mask. I have a 20% off coupon code for you guys in the description box below. So yeah. I'll be back. Okay guys, so I'm gonna be starting off by doing my hair first. I just feel like my hair looks a fool and crusty. So I just wanna do that first so I don't look a fool the whole video and then do my hair. Y'all can already tell by the thumbnail stuff I'm wearing a turban today. I'm gonna be coming out with a detailed video on how I do my turbans cause I like to wear my turbans in like different styles. So I wanna come out with a separate video for that. So we're just gonna speed through this real quick. So this, I don't know, it's kind of funky looking to me. I've never worn a colored turban before though. I always wear all black turbans. I had to look for like reassurance on Pinterest and she looks really good and hers kind of looks just like mine. It's just a different material. So I'm just like, I think I did good. It's just, I need to put some makeup on. Not that I need to. I want to put some makeup on and I need to do these edges. If this video's up, that means it looked good at the end. Literally thought I was recording the whole time and then my camera cut off and I was like, are you kidding? <sighs> Okay, so I use Style Factor Edge Booster to do my baby hairs. I'm just doing them. I'm kind of overcompensating for them, so I brushed a lot down because I am not too secure in this um, turban because I haven't worn colored turbans before. Now I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Jelly Primer. I really like this. Was it upside down? It's literally like a jello looking primer, like literally. When I apply this primer, it doesn't really feel like anything on the skin. It just feels like I'm rubbing in a moisturizer. But the way this thing helps my makeup stay in place and stay on is ridiculous. So foundation today is gonna be fun for me. I'm trying something new. I've been thinking about this combination for like the last three weeks and I was like, when I record a makeup video, I'm going to do this foundation combination. I don't know how well it's gonna work, but I'm excited about it. So I have my Fenty foundation, which is too dark for me. When I wear it, it comes off very, very orange. Too dark and also too matte for me. The other foundation I have is the LA Girl Pro Can Coverage um, High Definition Long Wear Illuminating Foundation. This is super liquidy. It's actually too light for me. So I have too light, too dark, matte, luminizing. I feel like if I mix them together, it's gonna be a really, really, really good combo. So I really wanna try it. I don't know, I've never done it. It could go horrible. But in my mind, I've been really excited to do these. So 
So it matches my face, but the problem that I be having is that it, I don't match it to my neck, which I should. I feel like it's not that bad because once I highlight and contour and everything like that, I feel like it's gonna look a whole lot better. But I need to get into the habit of matching things to my neck. But I feel like for me, that's kind of hard because I have hyperpigmentation on my neck and I don't wanna match my foundation to my hyperpigmentation. But if you look at my face, you can see it's around the range of my face color. I never get it perfect, but it usually just comes together. So I'm gonna go in with this Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Concealer. This is the concealer I used in my last Get Ready With Me. I'm really just trying to get to know it some more, so that's why I'm using it again. I learned in the last video that I should probably leave it on my face a little longer before I blend it out, which was a good thing to know, because it kind of reminded me of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer once I let it sit for a little bit. So to set my under eye, I went in with my Airspun powder, which is actually drugstore. Everybody knows about this, I think, right? It was like a big thing a few years ago. Now I'm gonna go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is in the color Matte Tan 35. I'm gonna use this to set my whole face. So I like to do my face first and then set my face and move on to my eyes and my eyebrows and then go back to my contour. So I've really been enjoying these Wet n Wild primers. They have three of them. I think they have a cucumber one and a coconut one. I have the rose one. I have all three of them, but today I'm gonna use the rose one. I'm gonna start with my eyebrows first. So I'm gonna start by um, using my Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil and I have mine in the color brown. same concealer I use to do my under eyes and my high points in my face I use that to do my to carve out my brows just at the bottom I never carve my brows out at the top unless things are bad I'm gonna put the palette on the screen over here just to show you guys what colors I'm using while I'm using them because this is just a get ready with me not a tutorial so I'm just gonna go through and get this done So I'm gonna go in with my Physicians Formula Felt Tip Wing Liner. This is a waterproof, not felt tip wing liner, it's a felt tip liner and it's waterproof. Super cute, I, write, I like this one a lot. I think it's waterproof. I'm assuming it's waterproof because it has like little fake speckles of like water on it as you can see. So my wings are done. Did the best I could. I did have to clean them up a little bit with some, I didn't use the concealer, I used my foundation so it wouldn't be like super bright right there. So for lashes, I have these very long, wispy, spidery lashes. What I like is they are very long but they're thin so you can really see through to see my eyeshadow look. So this is what we're working with, a ghost with lashes, kidding. I really look like a ghost. We're gonna move on to bronzing my face and doing my whole, the rest of my face so we can get this fixed because my lips look like this. I look crazy. I think today I'm gonna go in with the Fenty bronzer because I used the Fenty foundation, so why not? And I'm just gonna go in lightly because this is high end, so I don't want it to be like a mud slick. this Moire Wet n Wild blush. It's actually in the color Mellow Wine. So I'm gonna go on with this Wet n Wild loose highlighter. I just feel like I wanna be popping today. My skin is looking super smooth, looking super good. I have a cluster of pimples over here, but even with those, my skin looks super smooth. So I wanna go on with this highlighter. It's a Mega Glow loose highlighter powder. I don't know what color it is. Yeah, I ripped off the name of the color, so I don't know, but it's by Wet n Wild, and it's amazing. Literally a loose highlighter. I just 
love the loose highlighter. I don't know, I've only ever tried the Wet n Wild loose highlighter, but every time I use it, it gives me like this wet look. Like wherever I apply it, it just looks like I was just sweating with my makeup on, which I adore. Cause my skin is so smooth. So with this like melting into my skin like this, it kind of goes with the smoothness of my skin. I think I'm gonna go on with this color right here. I think it will be appropriate. We'll see what happens though. So I'm gonna set my face first, using the same setting spray I used earlier by Wet n Wild. I'm gonna be using my NYX Matte Lip Liner in the color Cold Brew to line my lips. Now I'm gonna go on with this lip gloss. It's nude, but I decided to go with the nude because I did do this pop of color on my eye, so I feel like a nude would be cute. Plus, I really wanna try this with um, a look. This is the Maybelline um, Lifter Glosses that have hyaluronic acid in them. Y'all know I'm super into skincare, and hyaluronic acid is something that helps plump up your skin. It holds a thousand times its weight in moisture, so it pull, and it also helps pull moisture out of the air. So this is gonna be really good at keeping my lips hydrated. I have wore this on a day where I didn't wear makeup, but I've never worn it on a day with makeup, so I'm curious to see how good my lips are gonna look and how plump they're gonna look, cause y'all just seen my lips with the gloss. They look really pretty with just my lip balm on. So with a lip liner and a gloss, that's actually gonna help keep them hydrated and plump. I feel like they're gonna look very pretty throughout the day. And right off the back, Every time I wore this thing, I think I wore, this is my third time wearing it, the first time I wore it without makeup. But every time I wear it, my lips feel super good. I think we did good. My main attraction are the eyes, of course, but I love how the eye came out to match the turban really well. And then we have this pop of color here. It looks like more of a spring look, but whatever. So this is the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I think this look is so pretty. And I kind of dragged up my, the blue. I think it's like a teal turquoise -y. I don't really know. But I dragged it up to be look like it's a part of my wing, which I like. I might start doing that. So yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the Tea Me mask. I love that mask. Y'all see my skin? My skin looks so smooth. And even with me having some breakouts over here, my skin overall still looks very smooth, which I love. So I love the way this turban came out. I was a little iffy in the beginning because I ain't never worn a tur uh, um, colored turban before, but it came out looking really, really good. So I'm very happy. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching again don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video